So we'd left Killington Peak. We're headed on down towards Rutland. I'll go in town for a brief bit. So this morning, we were only a mile away from the 1700 mark and we were just cruising. Didn't even see the mark. Pulled up the phone. We were almost a half mile past it and we had to go back. So I went back, we got the pictures and stuff and I forgot to do the video. Well, that was almost three miles back so Sorry about that. I'll include the picture because I'm not going back again. <laughs> I just wasn't even thinking about it. But let's see. So here's the trail today. We had a lot of, I think from up at the peak, it said we had like 2,500 on a descent. Uh, we had still about 500 on the ascent for the for that short period of 6.7 or so miles, I think it was, to get down to Route 4. So we're just rolling on through, and then uh, we will meet up with one of Lady V's friends and get picked up and go into, they'll drop me off over, I guess the Walmart and stuff so I can get some things I didn't get back to the trail after I get some stuff and eat lunch. And then I'll head back out. But apparently I guess there's a bus service or something that also runs in the area every hour. So that'll kind of make it easy getting back out to the trail. And that's out of Rutland. Let's see. A little bit of mud there. Yeah, a little bit of mud. <laughs> but yeah, right now it looks like I will be in uh, Hanover on Monday. Hanover, North uh, New Hampshire. tripping on shit so all right I will turn it off and keep on going but this is the morning so far let's kind of look through the trees and, and stuff and I will talk with you later bye bridge we're crossing over the water we're almost to the road of route four coming on down you hear the traffic out there there's the water down below. Whew. Catman X cross ski trail, and that's what and that's what a bum knee. She, yeah, she hurt her knee earlier. Because yeah, we were coming down a little faster till she did that. So yeah. Lady V's uh, friend many years ago it stopped and you know, pick us up. I said they're gonna take me over to the Walmart. So we're coming out. Here's Route Four. Right. Down the trail. Yeah, up this way, the parking lot. All right. So. All right, I'll turn it off and we'll talk with you later. Bye. So I ran into Rutland, Vermont. Went to the Walmart and the Price Chopper and Subway. Got some lunch, a few uh, food items and such. But here we are. This is Main Junction, Willard Gap. You got the long trail that now branches off. And runs up that way and there's a sign there it talks about the long trail tucker johnson shelter half mile and then the at runs on down there and then we got another sign 
The long trail and the AT have been going together since the beginning of Vermont. And then the long trail will continue on up to uh, Canada. And then here, we just got Appalachian Trail. Virginia Route 100 is two and a quarter miles. Stony Brook Shelter, nine. Been going for a little bit, so that might be a a spot to shoot for. I wanted to try and get about 10 after after lunch. So that might be uh, what I'll aim for to start with. And we'll see how, how things go. Had a little bit of climb. Coming up from the road, Route 4. Now it seems to be uh, some decent terrain. So we'll see how things go. And I'll check back in later. Bye. So the trail had just come down through a state uh, park campgrounds. And now come across the street. Come across this water and the bridge. And then it goes down to the pond. Might be able to see down through there. There's a pond out there. Uh, but the trail goes this way across this bridge. But it's water kind of cool. That's a little waterfall. <laughs> but it's still kind of cool. And obviously all that I oh, see that's all pretty cool going back through that way. Running back through there and emptying out into the pond. Looks like somebody down there with a fishing pole. Two people down there were fishing. So yeah, just trying to get going through here. It's like a game camera of sorts. Yeah, got a little camera there. Monitoring how many people come across, I guess. And yeah, just trying to get through here. Um, I was trying to see if I can get 10 miles in after lunch. I don't know if I'll quite get that far, but we will see how it goes. So I'm going to turn this off and keep on going. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Right over here is waterfall. Kind of cool. water coming down and kind of split in both directions I guess when uh, water levels are high it probably a little bit more comes rolling down through there that's kind of nice so I got a little more of a uh, some easy trail and then it's getting ready to start climbing and it looks like I got a decent climb coming up there's some old buildings down there not sure what they once were hard tailing so. <laughs> kinda cool alright we will talk to you later bye Hey. So it's about 7.30 at night. I'm about a mile from the shelter. Climbing up uh, after uh, Rutland, Vermont there. I was trying to, the shelter is about that 10 mile. Um, there's a brook about another half mile past that. And that's probably like 10 miles. Um, I think I can be to the shelter be by 8 o'clock, or a little bit before. I mean, it's just a mile and I'm going downhill. Let me turn this around. Uh, trying to step it up a little bit here. I said, if I can get there before 8, I think I'd like to push that other half mile to get to the brook, because... I'm almost out of water. I mean, I'd be fine for the night, but I think I'd rather 
get some more to drink. Sorry if the video's not the smoothest right now. Uh, just kind of moving through at an accelerated pace. <laughs> I said the day is almost over. And I said the more I get out of today and tomorrow, the shorter the day is on Monday, being my birthday, going into Hanover, New Hampshire. I would like for it to at least be down 10 to 12 miles going in, because I could I can get that done before noon, most likely. That's kind of what I'm shooting for. So, all right, I'm gonna turn this off and keep on rolling down this trail. We'll talk to you later. Bye.